I've got high hopes for an encounter. Vampires prefer total darkness. And there isn't much of a moon tonight. Leaving my horse well out of harm's way, I head for the vampire's hunting ground. Let's get a look at this. This is a mist net. It's what researchers usually use to catch birds when they're doing ringing. But these guys are using it for a different purpose, mainly to catch bats and especially to catch vampire bats. And there's a bat in here right now and I just want to check it out. Yeah. Judging by that little flat face and those thumbs, I'm sure that's a vampire bat. But I'm not going to touch him with my bare hands. I've got some gloves for just such an occasion. The local people are not too keen on vampire bats. They'll catch them in these nets and destroy them. Let's see if I can get hold of this guy. Oops. It's difficult to see how he's tied in here. And they got sharp, razor sharp teeth. Let's see if I can get him out. I've got him. I've got him. Oh, look at him. He's vicious. Of course, he's frightened. He's scared. He's bitten onto my thumb there right away. Thank goodness I've got these gloves on because these guys got really sharp teeth. And there is the danger of rabies, and I wouldn't like those teeth to go into my finger. Let's see if I can get him to let go. You can see straight away it's a vampire bat. Look at the thick, the thick thumbs over there. The back legs are very strong. They use the thumbs and legs, and they actually walk. They can walk and they can hop. They're very, very agile for little animals like this that are normally just flying. They're very good on the ground as well. He won't let go. Come on, let go for me. See a little flat face? They've actually got heat sensors in that nose. Guides him to the blood he wants to feed on. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at those teeth. You can see them. Look at those teeth. Man, look at those fangs. You can see where the... Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm glad my finger's not going to be in there. Amazing little animals. Potentially dangerous. I can understand why these people are worried about their cattle. She wouldn't like rabies to be spread all over. Not every bat has got rabies, but the potential is always there. Oh, he's got me again on the thumb. But this guy's lucky because I'm going to let him go. He's going to be one of those that escape. I couldn't leave him in here. I haven't got the heart to do that. I'd rather he was off. You ready to go, little guy? Hey? Eh? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let go. I'm going to open my hand and he can decide. I hope he doesn't come right into my face. He can take off if he wants to. There we go. Oh, and he's gone down. And he's gone down. Oh, no. There he is. There he is. Watch him move. Watch how he moves. I want him to go up. Come on. It's all right, little fella. Take off. Take off. Take off. Take off. Take off. Now to get a photograph of a vampire in action. To maximize my chances of spotting these little vampire bats, I'm using not only the night vision goggles, but thermal as well. And if they were to land on a cow, I should see it quite clearly. And they've got heat sensors in their noses, and I'm, they might be actually seeing these cows roughly as what I'm actually seeing them here. They detect them with these heat sensors. The vampires choose the hottest part, where the cow's veins are nearest the surface, shown here in white. Look at the blood running down his neck. That's incredible. This is what they do. The saliva's got this anticoagulant in it and it causes the blood to flow freely. That anticoagulant they use is called Draculin. Isn't that fitting? There's one, there's one. He was having a really good feed. There's a good chance that he might come back to the same cow. I had better get in there fast. So fast, so quick. How about 
got that. I actually got my shot. Can you believe that? Now I got that bat right on the cow's neck, feeding on him, blood running down his neck. Incredible. I'm so pleased. I'm so lucky. <laughs>